Now let's continue about the peak inspiratory pressure. We just talked about plateau pressure. Now you know when there is increase in the proximal airway pressure, where there's a problem in one of these elements of this equation. Alveolar pressure, when we perform inspiratory hold maneuver, now you should know, it's called at that point plateau pressure, which is performed as we said at the end of inspiration before expiration. And plateau pressure, when we obtain it, usually equivalent to proximal airway pressure because we perform and measure it when the flow is zero. Now, based on this, we will know if the plateau pressure, usually the cutoff with 30 centimeter HTO, we try to keep it below this number. <coughs> um, we'll come to that when we talk about volume trauma and uh, sorry, and barotrauma. So now you know whether the problem is here or the problem is here. If the problem is here, we said, just go back to my um, plateau pressure video, either the problem with the increased tidal volume or decreased compliance, and I, I mentioned the causes of those. So if the problem there, you need to treat the underlying. If it's pulmonary edema, you give laces, pulmonary fibrosis. If it's an exacerbation, you need to give steroids. If there is a cyrus, you tap it. O2 peep or gas trapping will come to it and we have to solve that issue. If there's a problem with very large tidal volume, we need to cut down very high flow rate. You need to cut down on that because flow rate, you have to remember, is very related to tidal volume from my previous video as well. Now, if the problem is not here, then the problem is here or here. If there is very high flow rate, that will lead to very high tidal volume, as we said. Um, so you just simply decrease flow rate. Resistance now, if there is no issue here in this part, then resistance. Resistance mainly in the airways. Resistance mainly airways. Problem like patient biting the tube. So you need to sedate the patient better. Or a lot of secretion, respiratory or airway secretions and mucus plugs. Let me write it better so you can move mucus plugs. So you need to clear these secretions, suction these secretions, thin these secretions with the mucus and all of this. A lot of these issues, we'll talk about them in my ICU course. And also some on when, when we talk about troubleshooting the ventilator problems. And the third thing is bronchospasm or bronchoconstriction. You give bronchodilators if the issue in resistance. This is how you approach an elevated peak inspiratory pressure. Remember, we want to keep the peak inspiratory pressure 35 to 40 and less centimeter HTO.